When we talk about energy crisis, the renewable energy is always the first solution comes up to our mind, including wind power plants, solar arrays, hydropower, hydrogen and fuel cells. However, as the first renewable energy source human used, wood, which we also call it woody biomass, also have its place in energy production. Hello everyone, my name is Chang Yan. In this video, I will talk about woody biomass. As an energy product, woody biomass is carbon natural. Once the wood is come from continuing forestry, thanks to the photosynthesis of plants. Also, low in sulfur and uh, mercury emissions means the wood will burn cleaner than coal. But the woody biomass requires specialized boiler and handling systems. It's prone to grazing of boilers if the soil is included in the feedstock, and the energy density of it is lower than fossil fuels. Also, the moisture content of fresh wood chips is about 50%, which means it's the most important issue of woody biomass needs to be solved to be a good energy product, as we all know that water will not produce energy at all. This will make extra 10 to 25 percent of transportation fee of biomass is for water. Also, high moisture content will make the heating value of biomass lower than fossil fuels. There are technologies to improve wood chips for energy, including drying at 40 to 150 Celsius to produce solid fuel, torrefaction at 300 Celsius to produce solid fuel, pyrolysis at 400 Celsius to produce liquid fuels and uh, gasification at or above 500 Celsius to produce liquid or gas fuel. Above all, torrefaction seems to be the most feasible for in wood operations. During the torrefaction process, the torrefaction liberates water, volatile organic compounds, and hemicellulose from the cellulose and the lignin. The volatile organic compounds and the hemicellulose are combusted to generate process heat, and torrefied wood can easily replace coal in combustion or be a feedstock for further pyrolysis or gasification for combined heat and power of fissure trophic liquids. The warm lignite may act as a bender when the torrefied wood is paralyzed. For the chemistry of torrefaction, at torrefaction temperatures, the hemicellulose is the primary, primary wood polymer that is degraded into permanent gases including hydrogen, the methane, aromatics, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and other CXHYs. It also degraded to condensable liquids including acids, ketones, furans, alcohols, waxes, tannins, and water. Also, it can be degraded into solids including char, new and existing sugar structures, and new polymers and ash. All of the wood polymers undergo dehydration reactions that destroy oxygen and the hydrogen groups that are responsible for hydrogen bonding with water. This may limit the ability of torrefied wood to retain water, which means there are less water content than the wood itself. And here is the power density of various biomass fuels. We can see that the heating value of the torrefied wood per pound doubled, nearly tripled after torrefication, and the energy value per unit size tripled, which will lead to saving on transportation fees, which makes it a better energy source. And here is the elemental content data of torrefied wood. We can see the sulfur content is considerably lower than coal, and the moisture content can lower after torrefaction. There are different heating values for different kind of torrefied wood, depends on its moisture content. It can be shown in color, 
In this graph, we can find that the darker the biomass is, more heating value it will have. If you have any questions about my topic, please let, let the comments on Canvas or YouTube freely. Thank you.